my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me What's up, freaks? Welcome to Steve Says, episode number 121 Today we're talking about failure, losses, fuck-ups and just how to navigate that in your own brain and your own life and in general. Last couple of weeks, if you've been following Steve Says, a few weeks ago it was about turning obstacles into opportunities. Another week after that, we talked about taking your suffering, turning it into superpower. Last week, we talked about taking weaponize, how to weaponize your weaknesses and what better way to dive into it this week with fuck-ups and failures. The the other F-bombs, you know the F-bombs from the project are the family, fitness, finance, and faith so you could have real fulfillment. Today we're talking about the fuck-ups and failures in life on Steve Says, episode number 121. And as you know, Steve Says is not always what you want to hear, but it's definitely what you freaking need to hear. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. And some people will hate, but most can relate because Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freak freedom terms. We are focusing on the mind, the body, and the business about how to have a role model mindset and to operate to dominate with discipline, energy, confidence, action, and being your freak self. That's what this is all about. Steve says, episode 121. And we're going to talk about these fuck-ups and failures and losses because uh, I'll tell you what, I had a a recent, like as of within the last 24 hours, a big loss or a a lost out on a, a, a business deal, a real estate deal that I've been working on for a while and I fucking lost out on it. But you know what? There's always, you have to always have lessons from those failures and losses. I could sit there and bitch and mine, uh, whine and moan, but then I would just be a fucking fraud, right? I, I talk about it. I post about it. I fucking read about it every day. I preach about it. I teach about it. I talk about it. I record about it, about obstacles to opportunities, about weaponizing your weaknesses, about suffering to superpower. And then, so how am I going to get all pissed off and frustrated about losing out on, on a fucking deal like I just did? And it was a fucking killer deal that I, I missed out on. But, there, but listen, failure is just feedback. Remember that. Write that shit down. Failure is feedback. You should write down a lot of this shit. Turn your suffering into superpower. Weaponize your weaknesses. Turn obstacles into fucking opportunities. That's what this is all about. But failure, anytime you have failure, it's feedback on where you went wrong, what you need to work on, how you need to take things to the next level. That's what it is. Failure is feedback, showing you where you are coming up short, where you're not showing up the way you should be showing up, where you're not as strong as you either should be, need to be, or maybe how not as strong as you fucking think you are. And I am not telling you this Every episode of Steve Says, all 121 episodes have been off of personal experience. A lot of times it might be personal experience from 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago from Lessons Learned. But this is shit that I'm talking about. This is fucking fresh. This is yesterday within the last 24 hours talking about how how failure is just feedback. But the thing is, with everything that goes on, every deal, every strategy, of course we like to say burn the boats, right? Where you get to where you're going and you're going to only have plan A. There is no plan B. That sounds all great. But I'll tell you what, in business, in war, there is always contingency plans. They're not alternate plans. They're okay. Here's plan A. If the universe decides to give you a universal bitch slap and kick in the nuts, because as Mike Tyson said, everyone has a plan to they get punched in the damn face. Then, and you get knocked sideways and off track, you have to have a contingency plan. Okay, if this happens, I'll do it this way. If this happens, I'll do this. So for this business deal, this real estate deal that, that fucking got beat on and, and ended up really getting just destroyed on and wasting a ton of time and energy and emotion on, there was a backup plan. And then so to, 
to, to be sitting and whining and moaning to realize that if you have your shit together and you're busting your ass and you have your non-negotiables and you're doing the, the, the strategies and tactics and habits and daily disciplines that you should be having on a regular basis, you should realize and you should come to the point where even on your worst day, even you at your best, your slowest, your fattest, your weakest, your stupidest, even at your failures, even at this loss that I had, you have to tell yourself, all right, I'm still better off than fucking most. I'm still, my worst is still better than some people's best. Have some fucking gratitude for that. Be grateful, not fucking greedy. Take the beatings, the fucking lumps on your head, the kick in the teeth when you're down, the dirt that got kicked in your face, the slimy sleazeball moves that people make in the business world. Take them as, of course, learning lessons. There's no wins. There's wins and, and W's and L's. The W's are the wins. The L's are just the fucking lessons learned. Take it as a test. Take it as a test. Take it as a challenge from the universe that's given you that universal bitch slap. And take it as a, as a test. All right. You talk about doing all these things and dealing with no matter what life throws at you and what you can control and you can't control and all this stoic philosophy, mumbo jumbo, it's all fucking philosophy until you actually practice it and implement it and use it in the real fucking world. Until you spit it back out into the real world, it's all bullshit, it's all fraudulent, it's all nonsense, it's all fucking useless until you actually practice it and demonstrate it and implement it in the real world. I mean, look at look at the one look one of the bright sides. This situation gave me great content for this episode of 121 of Steve says right there. Boom. Also, tons of lessons learned about having just be, realizing where all right, when you're hungry, you're a motivator, you have such high standards, high expectations, and you're you're shooting for the moon and and you're going for this high high level stuff, and you fail. Like, be grateful for even without that. Be grateful for what you have, but even just as grateful for whatever the backup plan was to that plan A, that plan B, C, D, all the way to motherfucking Z. Be grateful for that backup plan that came through. Might not be as shiny as this other thing, but be grateful for it. And 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 then tell yourself and realize, all right, all that energy, all that time, all that emotion that's put into it, now it's time to take that and redirect it into... What's the next big thing? What's the next thing to do? What it was the contingency plan? Put that into getting to the level you need to be. It's, it's failure is just feedback telling you to fucking train harder, work harder, stack up some more fucking money, stack up more experience, make some greater alliances, build stronger relationships. That's what failure is fucking telling you to get off your ass and fucking work harder because whatever you're doing wasn't good enough for the situation that you're in. That's all it's telling you. It's all it's fucking telling you. That you need to study more, learn more, push fucking harder, work harder, train harder. That's what it's all about. And then the other lesson is, all right, things happen. When it comes down to it, you can't take shit personal. It's all motherfucking business. It's all money. It's all business. Even when someone does something slimy, something backstabbish or stalls or bullshits you or isn't transparent or deceives you, in, in, in a business deal or whatever it is with money, with whatever the fuck you're talking about. They're like, oh, no shit. Oh, that again? Oh, people are not demonstrating honor or commitment or follow through? Oh, of course. There they go, being a fucking human again. Be used to it, motherfucker. Like, that's human nature. And it's someone thinking that they're doing the best for themselves or their client or their world or their family or whatever the fuck they think in their warped head, whether they're wrong or right, maybe you're fucking wrong. Think about it. Maybe you're fucking wrong. That's the way to look at it. It really makes you, when you fail at shit, you lose shit. It makes you reevaluate stuff and it makes it not a fucking failure at all. Like this, this lost deal that I had, it was like, thank fucking God this happened to me. Not all oh, fuck me. It's like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Thank God this shit happened to me. Thank God this disappointment happened. Because you know what? There's really nothing to be fucking disappointed about. Because every, not, things didn't turn out the way you originally wanted. That the universe knocked you in the nuts and kicked you in a different direction. 
When you learn to just accept shit like that, that's the reality of the universe, that's the reality of human nature, and you're ready for that, and you're prepared for that, you're like, oh, this again. Oh, this again. When you, when you could accept that, there's no disappointment. Disappointment doesn't exist. Failure doesn't exist. Losing doesn't exist. It doesn't fucking exist. And listen, you're allowed to have and set high standards, high visions and dreams and goals and higher calling for yourself. You're allowed to do that shit. Nothing wrong with expecting a fucking lot of yourself, of the world, and going after that shit. There's nothing wrong with that. You should expect a lot from your fucking self. You should expect to go hang with the big dogs. Yes, you should have high motherfucking standards. Yes, you should have high ideals and attacking a higher calling. Absolutely, you should have these higher visions and big dreams for yourself and the people around you. Hell yeah. Go for the win. Go for the gold fucking medal. Go for the pot of gold. Why the hell not? Nothing wrong with that. But understand, the higher you go, the bigger game you play, the bigger deals you get involved with, higher level shit is going to be higher level fucking craziness, higher level chaotic, higher level human nature, higher level sloppiness, ugliness, grimy dog fighting. Anticipate that shit. Be prepared for that shit. Go in there with your fucking dukes up, ready to rumble, motherfucker. Anticipate the, the struggle. Anticipate the freaking hardship. And then anticipate, all right, If this happens, I will do that. And if that happens, I will do this. Anticipate the fuck-ups. Anticipate the slimy fucking humans. Anticipate the universal nut kicks. Anticipate the learning and the lessons you're going to get before they even happen. If this happens, I'll do this and I'll have learned this. I'll have gained this experience. Fuck yeah, I'll take it. Any day of the fucking week. Any day of the week. Cool. Cool. Got screwed over. Cool. Perfect. Good. Fucking excellent. Fucking excellent. I don't need perfection. Perfection doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Perfection is a myth. It's bullshit. Nothing says you have to be perfect. Nothing says you're going to get the win on everything. When you supposedly lose, you're actually winning more than you're fucking winning when you actually win. Make that make sense to you in your fucking head. Make sense up here. You have to just go with the flow of the universe. You can't control some of that shit. Sure, you can influence some stuff and persuade some stuff and bust your ass and do what you can and do your due diligence, but the universe is going to fucking spin the way it's going to motherfucking spin. You can't control the clouds and the storm and the weather and all this other stuff. You can't control the way you deal with those L's. You can control with how you deal with those setbacks and don't act like a fraud and bitch and scream and blame fucking people. Like, oh, we'll see. We'll see. Now I can take that energy. Like, yes, I'm done with that deal. I now have this contingency plan. We're going all in on the contingency. Now I can put all my focus, energy, and effort into the contingency plan. And this other thing that I've been meaning to get to that I've been putting off because I've been putting all my money and time and energy and effort into this higher level thing. Get excited about the fucking losses. Get excited about the lessons. Get excited about the learning. And you will never be fucking disappointed. You'll just be excited. You'll just be excited because you're gaining experience. You're gaining life lessons. You're gaining fucking mastery. You're gaining mastery by fucking losing. You're gaining mastery. You went after it. You did your best. You gave it your fucking shot. You swung for the fences. You used some strategy and tactics. You did every angle, every possible outside the box thing you do and you fucking lost. No, you didn't. You learned a fucking lesson and you grew. You got stronger. And with that L, you're one step closer to motherfucking mastery. One step closer to where you need to be. Now you know how you need to show up. You have that learning mindset. It prevents you from being fucking disappointed. Thank God you didn't fucking win. Thank God you didn't fucking win. Fuck yeah, not fuck me. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I didn't win. Get a kick in the nuts. Oh, you can say fuck me or you can say fuck yeah. I'm going to say fuck yeah. Because you know what? Now I know I need to do it better. I need to show up better. I need to step up my motherfucking game. The level that you're at might not be adequate for the level that you want to play at. Go all in. Play all out, motherfucker. Because people will stall. People will delay. People will bullshit. Expect it. 
accept it, embrace it, and then engage in that shit. And then realize, you need to show up like a motherfucking beast. Not show up just average or even above average or, or even high above average. You need to show up as a motherfucking beast. Motherfucking savage, top dog, motherfucker. That's how you need to show up. You want a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? You need to show up at the level that can hang and jump into deals on a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You lost that? Listen, you want to get another chance? Another, you want some other possibilities of once in a lifetime opportunities? You better go and create that shit. Go start cultivating that by the acts you take, by the, the harder training you're doing, by the harder work you're doing, by the more money you're going to fucking make. And then when you say, all right, I had this thing, this deal I was going for a fucking loss. I got a mud hole stomped in my ass. Fuck yeah, because now I'm going to have all these different lessons and one step closer to freaking mastery by losing. But I guarantee this other contingency plan has something in store for me so much greater than that other thing that I thought I wanted. Garen fucking it. I know it because I just know that's the way it fucking works. That's how you weaponize weakness. That's how you turn obstacles into opportunities. That's how you take suffering and sacrifice into a motherfucking superpower. I know that it like it's a it's a it's a given. It's a given. It's a foregone conclusion. It's already a done deal. It's like time travel that by Losing certain things and getting fucked over and screwed over and not sh- be- being strong enough or powerful enough to win whatever you're, whatever you're after. And now you're over dealing with settling with this thing, settling for it. First again, remember, shame on you. You got some fucking nerve to think you're settling for something that would be better than most people's best. Your worst is better than most people's best. That's what you need to tell yourself. That's what level you need to be operating at the mindset you need to fucking have. Knowing that this other contingency plan that might not have been your original plan, but shit went sideways, you had to go this route, that that will lead to better opportunity. I fucking know it, and I guarantee it. You know why I guarantee it? Because if you go on with that mindset and not not, not sh- not getting upset, not being resentful and thankful for the lessons and, and get fucking hungrier and love the test and love the challenge that you're up against and love the fact you need to level up and use that as fuel and use that fucking hunger to attack the hill even more, Garen fucking to you that whatever you wanted that you lost, that you thought you wanted, you thought was the fucking thing, and you think you had to settle for this other thing, guarantee this other thing will lead to better opportunities if you go into it with the right fucking mindset. It will lead to something so much far greater, like a parallel fucking universe that you didn't even know existed, that you never would have had the opportunity for and never would have been possible if you would have gotten the thing you wanted to get. So the loss turns into a fucking win. That is weaponizing weakness. That is turning obstacles into opportunities. That is turning stumbling blocks into motherfucking stepping stones. That's what it is. And I guarantee it will lead to better opportunities if you, if you, if you approach it and have this type of perspective. Not upset, not resentful, not fucking pissed off. And then, all right, what will you do with this other opportunity? What will you do with this other path? Will you show up the way that you should have showed up before? Will you attack the way you should have attacked before? Will you have the right perspective, the right mindset? Will you step up your motherfucking game? Will you learn more? Will you study harder? Will you play harder? Because listen, what was, what was supposed to happen didn't happen. Whatever, your, whatever other path you went on will turn out fucking better, I guarantee, as long as you're not bitter and resentful and, and fraudulent in your learning, in your teaching, as long as you don't waste any more time or energy or emotion on the loss, put all that energy and bumble it up and boom and fucking send a chi blaster into that motherfucker. Guarantee you, you will close the loop on the bullshit here and you will open up a whole new path of possibilities and opportunities And you will motherfucking explode. I guarantee it. And this, freaks, is just me talking to myself through this situation. That's all it is. Ready to fucking rock. Ready to... Slowing down. So I can strategize. Figure out how to weaponize. And motherfucking explode. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, not fuck me. That's the way you need to think about it. I guarantee you this should work out for you in any type of situation. Garen fucking T it. Follow this process. Follow this framework. Follow this mindset. This thought process. 
and it will change your motherfucking life. You will have no bad days. You will have freak fire energy all the freaking time. That's what it's all about. Jump in the conversation. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know how you've used this type of strategy or tactic in your life. How the thing you didn't get, you thought was so horrible and it turned out to be, thank God I didn't get that thing and I got this thing because now I have this new opportunity, new possibility. Put it down in the comments. Let me know about it. And if you need any help with any of this, need any help navigating through these waters in the mind, the body, the business, send me a message. Let's talk about it. You know we have the project coming up here in April. Men's Personal Development Program on the Family, Fitness, Finance, and Faith here in Southern California. If you need some help, some coaching, some guidance, some mentoring, send me a private message. Let's talk about it. I will hook you up. I got to get rolling. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.